Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector Series. Today we're looking at the Gas Alert Max XT2. Okay, what you're going to need is your gas monitor, your regulator here. Today we're going to use a demand flow regulator because this unit has a pump in there. Some tubing and a cylinder of calibration gas. The cal gas values you need are 25 parts per million H2S, 100 parts per million carbon monoxide, 2.5% methane by volume, which equals out to being 50% LEL methane, and 18% oxygen with the nitrogen balance. So to get started, we're going to press the big button here. Just press and hold it until it beeps, and then go ahead and let go. And it's going to go through a startup check. So it's block inlet, so press your finger over there, and then unblock. And now you know you're good to go. Now typically in the field, you'll have an adaption fitting here with a tube, and instead of blocking here, you're going to want to block the tube at the end. That way it knows there's no leaks within your system. But while that gets started, I'm going to explain a little difference than normal here that we've got. That you'll notice my tubing is a little bit strange. Now the difference is, and the reason for this is, number one, the small tubing that we're using today doesn't fit well on the regulator. You'll see it's a little bit it's about just the same size, so it's a real hard pain in the butt to get that on there. So what we've done is I've taken a larger piece of tubing, put it right inside there, and made sure there's no leaks. And the trick to doing this, that you can make sure that you actually have a nice tight seal. Notice also on the other end here, there's supposed to be an adaption fitting here, but actually we unfortunately cracked the last one, so I'm waiting for a new one to come in, but wanted to make this video in the meantime. Here's the trick to making sure that your setup still works. Place the inlet tube there. Now take your hose, press your thumb over it. See how it sends it into alarm? That tells us that our system here is airtight. Press the button, block the inlet, unblock the inlet. Okay, now it knows the pump is okay, so we can get to calibrating. So we're going to leave this tubing on here. What we're going to do is take our regulator. This is a demand flow regulator. It doesn't have the... Uh, it doesn't have a knob on the side that turns it on and off. What happens is when vacuum goes on the other end of the regulator, it'll open up the valve. So we're going to insert this here. Okay. You'll hear it click and you'll know that the calibration gas is on. And now we're not going to attach this tube yet. What we're going to do is send the unit into calibration mode. To do that, we're going to hold it here, press and hold this button, and then keep holding it. It'll turn off. That's okay. Let it just keep going. Keep holding it. Two, one. Okay. Now we're going to let it go through the zero process. That's what it's doing right now. Now it says apply gas. So take the hose, put it right on your cylinder. There we go. Now if you watch, it says auto span up in the corner here. And now we'll start getting gas values. Remember this one is 25 parts H2S, 100 parts CO, 50% LEL methane, and 18% oxygen. The oxygen is never going to be exact. It's always the most inaccurate sensor because it's a one-point calibration. So if it's close, that's good. Okay. Now you'll see it's taking the calibration values in there. And it's going to hold that for a while to make sure that the sensors are stable. So while that's going, you can just kind of set it down to the side. Let's see, some things I like about this monitor. I really like the screen on this guy. It's not as great as the Quattro, but it's it's definitely a step in the right direction. It's very clear, very easy to read, uh, one button operation. So it's a nice one. Just let that keep going. Should be nearing completion now. Okay. This series of BW does take a little bit longer to calibrate than some of the other monitors out there. You, uh, some of them like the. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, some of the Altair series calibrate much quicker. Also, some of the Biosystems units. But it's definitely an easy process on this monitor. There aren't a lot of button combinations. It's just press and hold one. Oh, 
Okay, now we're good. Caldo. So go ahead and just pop that hose out there. It's gonna come up with a Caldo. Now it says 180 days to calibration due. Don't wait 180 days to calibrate. Calibrate every 30 days. Bump daily, and that way you keep yourself safe. So, uh, I, you've probably heard me rail about this before, but 180 days is way too late to calibrate. But that's all you need to know. Now we're just going to watch these, see that they've come all down to 0, 0, 0, and 20.9 over here. And I'll let you know you're good to go. So you've officially calibrated your monitor. Well, thanks for taking the time with us. If you guys have any questions, you can always give us a call at 734-956-0539. Or you can shoot me an email at james at idealcalibrations.com. We also have some some more things on the website like accessories if you want to buy calibration gas or anything along those lines on idealcalibrations.com thanks you guys have a great day keep safe out there